from the outside, it looks beautiful. Ben and Jerry, Stonyfield, they look like these. Ah, uh, yeah, you have the cows, the farms, the people, and you get, no. It's all constant, constant challenges in problem solving. And when you've solved these 10 problems, 10 more are just lurking there to bite you back. to meet with Gary one-on-one -on -one and get his advice about Wayward Spirit. The expo hasn't even started yet. Gary's about to walk through the door. I'm super excited and a little nervous. Hello. Hi Gary, good nice, to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Well, people ask me, well, how did I choose you as a, as a mentee? And, you know, the answer's <laughs> in the glass right here. This is fabulous, really fabulous. Thank really, you. really wonderful. First time I met Gary, he was giving a speech at a conference I was at for MBAs. She was standing there holding her bottle and she was not going away. And I went up to him with my bottle of Wayward Spirit, just hoping to get his feedback. Just in the courage, she had to come up to me and sort of foist her bottle in her presence. Uh, I know she's going to be successful. She's, she's got a real backbone. For at least the cheese producer, for every 10 pounds of milk they bring in, nine pounds of it is left wow. its way. One my pound God, it's 90 percent. People need to understand that. We've got to find a way to communicate that. So tell me the latest then. Tell me where we, where you are and what you've been doing the last couple weeks. Well, I have a lot lined out. I have a lot of options, done a lot of research. Um, and I'm just not quite sure which trigger to pull first because mm. that's going to impact the rest of my decisions. Yeah. Emily uh, has a tendency to want it to be just perfect, right? She's a really thoughtful scientist. Yeah, the answer is don't seek perfection. You know, there's a lot of... Um, value and good analysis, but there's even more value in action, taking real actions. You do the best you can, you get your advisors, you call me, you turn to people you know, and, uh, but then acting. Because with the action will come more learnings, and with more learnings there'll come more opportunities. The business plan that you go in with, it's going to get changed. And just knowing that it's going to change, knowing that, the, that you're wandering in the unknown, and that's what this is all about. And I know you're up to it. No, that's great advice. So what do you think, in your own mind, what do you think is that, that number one thing you got to really do right now? To me, that's transportation. Well, you make my heart very happy to hear that. <laughs> and you're unbelievably correct that, I mean, I'm so thrilled that you're taking transportation seriously because it's the thing that people forget about. You know, they'll think about the plant, they'll think about the market, but they forget that all this stuff has to move around. This is liquid, so it's super heavy, right? Eight, nine pounds a gallon. In the early days of Stonyfield Farm, transportation costs really caught us by surprise. One of the great things about being a mentor is I remind entrepreneurs, they don't have to make my mistakes. When it comes to transportation, I don't want her to make the same mistake. She can skip that learning curve. I can help her with that. What part of that transportation network should I lock down first? We gotta nail down the distillery, very simply. That's your hub, right? It's got to have enough proximity to the end market, to the warehouse, because you're moving these heavy bottles of glass and you don't want to, that's not where you want your dollars to go. You want it to go to the consumer or to the product, right? But also it's got to be a good proximity to the supply, to the way, and also has to be like a super producer. And without that, we're nowhere, right? So we, we got to nail down that one distillery. And I, I would even pull out a map and just, you know, literally look at distances because distances is miles, miles is money you expect the first thing he's going to focus on is the dairy. But really, I think he's absolutely right to focus on the production thing because everything else can fall in place and, you know, I can really nail down that transportation to be successful. I have one in mind. Oh, good. I think it can work. I think I need to make a phone call. Yep. She's got the fortitude. She's going to put one foot in front of the other. Yeah, I think she's got what it takes. When times were tough, what kept you going? Well, it's very simple. It's all about determination. I think it's actually the most important attribute that people don't really focus on. They talk about your smarts or your degree or your know-how, but your guts, your actual, that ability when it's dark, when it's cold, when things aren't working out, when the cash is tight, when your heart is in your throat, it's the ability to stay with it. That's what it is. I think the biggest thing that came from this meeting is just encouragement and validation that I can do this. Thank you so much. Like, I can't wait to walk the floor with you and to, you know, continue down the journey. Yeah, here, year. here. Well, let's get that distillery, my dear. I'm on okay, it. Okay, all right. All Good right. luck. First thing I do when I go back home is, you know, make those calls and find that production location and try to lock that down and take Gary's advice that every day is an iteration, but you got to get moving. 
I think as an entrepreneur, you have to keep your hopes in check. If this distillery doesn't work out, I need to go back to the map and start planning again. It would definitely be somewhat of a step back because I'd have to rethink my entire supply chain.